Well, truck's going up in the air. That's how we load, dump a load of sawdust in the suit. Back, the train's up to the backstop. The barn door is open. The barn doors are open, it looks like that. Closes the gap between the two trailers. Then there's a front door that falls in. See that fiberglass door right there? Well, that's gonna swing open like that from the top. And then the sawdust from the front trailer goes through the back trailer. The tailgate will open. And all the sawdust will fall in this big pit. We're back to hauling chips now. No more logging. Back door is going to open up. It's unlatched, we're just waiting for it to pop. So, that's where all your sawdust goes on them chains, the big hopper that goes under this walkway. Down in there. Bear belt goes up the hill, way around the front, and there's a long conveyor goes up there, across that way, and then there's the other side of this wall. There's a big pile. I don't know why that back door doesn't want to open up. It is open. It just hasn't popped yet. It will. When it pops, it's gonna make a mess. There's gonna be dust everywhere. We'll just give it a minute here. Truck's going up in the air. She'll go pretty high. In front of that truck ends up about 80 feet in the air. It almost goes straight up and down. Look back up a bit. I'm in the dust from the door. The wind's blowing in. Takes a minute or two. It doesn't take too long. Uh, something different. You guys haven't seen the chip truck inside of things too much. Showed lots of logging stuff. Yeah, it's going up way high. It's going up really high. And that back door is going to pop open very soon. There. There she popped. There goes all that sawdust. Let go there now. A little bit at a time, it'll come out. That sawdust is packed down pretty hard. She's the front end loader, a big 744 John Deere, almost does wheelies to pack that down so you can get your weight on. And still can't get a full load. Only had 55,700 and something kgs. I'm allowed 63.5. She's going up. That's pretty high. Still empty. You can see the sawdust is trying to spill out through the center, the center doors because the front door on the on the pump hasn't fell in yet. There's a set of hinges across the top of the frame of the trailer, way up high by the tarp, and that door kind of swings in from the top and allows all that sawdust to go on through. So you get a little bit falling down the ramp like that, but usually they seal up pretty good. Once that opens up, she'll swing in and all that sawdust will go right through. She'll be a noise. Anything going up there. Those pack cars start pretty good, they don't lose the fuel pressure. I think I just heard it let go. I heard like a clunky noise. to there because it makes a lot of dust. goes 
the big last of it. Front trailer is emptying out there now. Set of trains. Oh, sounds like some ice and stuff was in there. All right, I gotta go hit the vibrator button. And a whole bunch of stuff just let go. You see my product starting to go up the conveyor. The conveyor was dark at the beginning. So we got a vibrator button here. Press that. You can see that truck's way up there. Way, way up there. I hit it a few times, cleaned that trailer out real good. That vibrator will shake the snot out of it. You can see that's a long way up. Come on, go. Next up, we go over to the control panel. There's the mechanism to open the bridge that you drive across. There's the open mechanism for the bridge down. There's the dumper. There's the down button. The truck starts coming down. So, while this is coming down, that's when I take my sample get ready to go. So, I got work to do. Here it is. That's how we do our trucks. A bang.